Is this also the main difference between three-dimensional cell models and conventional two-dimensional cell models that are used in drug discovery? I mean, yes, it is. Uh, two-dimensional models are fast. That's the advantage. So you can, for example, use this one for uh, identify it candidates in a very fast way. Um, my approach is always start uh, as simple as possible and then uh, get the complication through the way. Uh, so I, our philosophy, uh, my philosophy is always start with the easiest assay that it's uh, normally a 2D assay uh, that is stable and it's uh, routinely used and then get uh, as soon as you start to discover more and reduce your, your eight candidates to, to an arrow, then start with the complexities in the biology and getting more 3D models and other models that are coming later. Um, also tissue-like models can be interesting, but uh, complication of this complex system is not suitable for me for screening, for example, in my opinion. Even if in oncology has been shown that it's possible, but it's very demanding still is technically and uh, is an effort to do screening in 3D models, definitely.